Singapore. To tell us more about it, let's welcome to the show Alexandra Tan, who's the manager of the Founders Memorial at the National Heritage Board, and Daniel Tio, the public contributor to the Founders Memorial. Good morning. Welcome to Money FM Saturday morning. It's great to have you both with us. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Let's start with you, Alexandra. Wow, we've got this. See, this is why I love having the National Heritage Board on our show. If you're not looking at Facebook Live and you can, please switch on now because they're showing the mm. wonderful artifacts that are going into the Founders Memorial. Perfect topic for Toto. National Day. Toto. Uh... Yep. <laughs> Alexandra, you kick things off. Tell us what this exhibition mm -hmm. is about and then we'll get into the artifacts that you can see right now on Facebook Live. Sure, yes, we have some amazing artifacts here on screen, and I think I'll leave Dan to share a little bit more about some of them, especially the total posters and that mirror newsletter we see in the bottom right corner. Um, for the traveling exhibition, we are hoping to raise awareness for this Founders Memorial project. So it's a project that um, has been going on for about seven years now, and we are opening in 2027 at Bay East Garden. So if you stand opposite the domes at Gardens by the Bay and look across the water, that's actually the future site of the memorial. So for the traveling exhibition, we hope to give people around Singapore a taste of what that memorial will hold um, and that it seeks to honor the legacy of our founding leaders and capture some of our key milestones from the 1950s to 1970s and ultimately encourage people to share their artifacts and stories like the ones we see here for the Founders Memorial so that we can enrich the content that we have in our galleries and the stories that we will tell there. Wonderful. But just before we get to Dan, Alexandra, I'm just curious, when you sent out this call to the public for artifacts for the mm. Founders Memorial, were there any guidelines or suggestions? Or mm. I'm, I can't imagine it was a complete free for all. Or, or was it? What, what were the sort of recommendations or suggestions you asked the public in terms of artifacts? Yeah, that's right. We actually went out with a wish list as well. So if people are curious about what's oh. on our wish list and to look at look at it in more detail, they can actually go on our Founders Memorial website where they can learn more. Um, broadly, we were looking at several themes. So the idea of multiculturalism and nation building, the idea of introducing our national symbols, so quite related to what you're talking about with our National um, Day songs. So that idea of mm. connecting that Singapore spirit into, into things that we recognize and celebrate. Um, also related to different campaigns that were organized and run um, in the 60s and the 70s, for instance, to keep Singapore clean, to save water. Um, so these are all examples of artifacts or milestones that we are looking for. Wow. And Dan, uh, Tio, talk, talk to us a little bit about your contribution. How did you first decide, you know what, this is something I need to contribute to? Um, okay. I think most important is because I have been collecting for 40 over years. And uh, many of these artifacts is related to the history of Singapore, and each of them in fact witnessed uh, uh, the growth and you know, the birth of these nations. So that's why mm. I thought that it is very meaningful. You know, but that's the first thing. Of course, the second is also the, hopefully the younger generation will come to know about it, understand uh, how we became a nation. You know, so this is where I decided. You know, after uh, I saw the calling, you know, so maybe I just contribute a couple of items and see how it goes. You know, yeah. And and Dan, just curiously, I mean. Uh, what is your background? I mean, do you work in this field, or is it just a passion project for you? How come you have this great collection? Are you a yeah, uh, historian? Uh, oh, no, I, I'm not a historian. I always thought I, 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 I told everyone, no, I'm not a historian, but I'm a collector. Uh, since, uh, I'm also an educator with MOE. Uh, in fact, I teach uh, uh, learning history in schools for the children um, ah. uh, related to the history of Singapore. Yeah, so that's okay. why uh, with nice. these artifacts, in fact, I bring them to schools. You know, Brilliant. So I with them, interact with them, you know, uh, with the children, you know, yeah. So that's what I do. Uh, of course, my background also, um, uh, early on, I'm an ad man, okay, I've been advertising for 32 years, you know, before <laughs> I moved into education. <laughs> so Dan, just yeah. for the benefit of our listeners and obviously for our viewers, just take us through some of these highlights, yeah. what they are and mm. what they so, represent. Sure. So if you look at the total posters, um, you can see four of them here. In fact, there's about uh, six, I think, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, Okay, how, how this poster come about, you know, when I get it uh, uh, from, from a Bulgarian uh, uh, collector? Okay, um, when Singapore gained independence, um, 
Okay, the most important task the government need to do is to uh, unite the people together. All right, because they are aware that 1964 raised uh, riots, so it is very mm. important for them. So by doing so, uh, um, they need to find a strategy. So what type of strategy? So so they're thinking of you know, so they identify sports could be a way to unite the people. Uh, but with that, you need to have a, a, a stadium, right? So where you're going to get the stadium, you know, build the, uh, get the money to build the stadium. So um, where that's where how Toto was uh, born, you know, I would say that or introduced. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So um, not only that, in fact, um, doing that is also keep our people uh, healthy and fit, you know, so it actually is quite good, you know. Uh, uh, and another thing is also that counter uh, the uh, illegal gambling during those days. Yeah. So Toto was born in 1968. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Right. So, um, so Alex, I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to win Toto. I, I, yeah. All these years, I've never yeah. gotten and, it. And so. I suspect these artifacts uh. will appeal a lot to yeah. Singaporeans. <laughs> I mean, you're talking about things that are part of the national fabric. Yeah. Um, Toto 4D Singapore Sweep Indeed. would very much fall into that category. <laughs> so great choices there. Mm. Alexandra, maybe you, just more broadly, you can tell us how these artifacts and others are going to fit into the memorial landscape and where are we with that i mean how is it shaping up uh when will it open you know what's the latest you can tell us on the founders memorial sure yeah so the founders memorial will open in 2027 and as part of this memorial we'll have an interpretive gallery where we will have the opportunity to showcase some of these artifacts so some of the artifacts you might see here or others that we have collected through other contributions might make its way into the interpretive gallery. And as you mentioned, you know, the idea of Toto and other artifacts are something that connect with people. We see these visual points of reference as an opening to tell more stories and a way for people to connect their personal experiences, memories to broader national milestones. So we hope to use these artifacts to showcase that as well. Um, mm. Beyond artifacts and their connection to national milestones, we are also looking to feature the stories behind them. So if people have memories of to um, Toto, the national stadium, or other national campaigns, so if you see on the top right-hand corner for those looking at the screen, we actually have an environment campaign poster. So when people share these stories with us, these are also perspectives, voices that we can showcase in the Founders Memorial. Yeah. Alexandra, is uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is this the new memorial that's going to be at Gardens by the Bay East? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so that's going to be 2027 is, is when it will open? Yes, okay, 2027. So we got, we got a few, yeah, we got a few years left, and I'm sure lots of folks out there are thinking, boy, I've collected a whole bunch of stuff over the years. Uh, you know, you can only imagine what some of the stuff is that people have collected for good, for better and for worse. Um, are there specific things that you are still items or or periods of history that you are still looking to collect that that if somebody out there is listening they might they might have something you know stacked up in the corner and i don't mean old newspapers you know from 1995 and whatever uh something something that might be interesting yeah so we are looking for artifacts that are specifically from the 1950s to 1970s so that's okay. the period that the memorial is looking at so we're looking for artifacts related to that time as well and and um, any particular you want you want uh you want uh, paper things do you want uh you know uh, little uh, toys do you want what like what would you want in, uh, in, we're from, looking yeah, we're yeah. looking for a range, but we also are particularly interested in 3D artifacts. So beyond paper, things that we can display that have some kind of dimension to it. Um, so examples of that, again, bringing back the idea of our cleaning campaigns, we are keeping our fingers crossed that people have maybe some of their old broomsticks or maybe a bucket or a shovel they use at pre-planting campaign. So these are some examples of things you're interested in. Um, another oh, area... I think you're going to get a lot of brooms and buckets by just having <laughs> yeah. said that. You yeah, said broomsticks, yeah. you might look like a Harry Potter exhibition by the time you're finished. <laughs> are you sure you want to put that out? Okay, we good. Anyway, carry are, on. <laughs> yeah, we hope to get the stories as well. So we encourage mm. that when people share these artifacts with us, firstly, it's from the 1950s to 1970s, but also that they can tell us a little bit more about when that was used. 
So the events nice. from the 1950s to 1970s and how they might have used it then and maybe some photographs that come along with that as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, Glenn and yeah. I had started the radio show about then, I think it feels like, <laughs> right? So we, we could talk about that. Yeah, our memories. And we are, got a broom here somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> we've got a broomstick and a bucket just over here. I must ask because my journalistic background, the one in the bottom right hand corner, I think it says the mirror, uh, yeah. either Alexander or Dan. Tell us a bit about that briefly. All right, uh, that, that was um, um, published in uh, 1969. In fact, it was the first uh, SAF day. Those days we are called uh, Armed Forces Day. So it's a message uh, by this uh, our minister, then uh, Minister of uh, for Defence and Internal, Lin Kim Sun. So he give a message to the SAF personnel, basically to uh, urge them, you know, to carry on the missions to establish a multiracial uh, society. So that, that that's where it's, uh, which is there is stability, equality, prosperity. Etc. Etc. Et yeah. So that was wow. pretty important. I find that it was the very first SAF day. Yeah. Mm. Example, yeah. Fabulous. And just maybe yeah, finally, really Alexandra, where or how should people be sending these artifacts? Do they contact you first and say, "I have A, B, and C. Do you want it?" I mean, what what is the process? I, I'm guessing you just don't want people dumping huge sacks of things outside of your office door. <laughs> Yes, for sure. We want to make sure <laughs> that sure. everything is stored properly, cared for. So right now we are encouraging people to take just photos of them and share these photos and more information about the artifacts and stories behind them through our online form, which can be found on our Founders Memorial website. So just to do a quick Google of that. Um, yep. We also recognize that some of these artifacts might belong to um, seniors, so we also um, strongly encourage children, grandchildren to also ask their parents or grandparents if they have any of these things at home and to assist them with the submissions. Yeah. And I know it's, um, an, uh, a, uh, I'm not sure what the answer to this, but if they do contribute and donate these items, do they get them back or do they become part of the collection and you say, you know, uh, thank you to the whoever family for donating this yep so it we work with each of the contributors individually so it really depends on the arrangements that we come up with both on the memorials and in the contributors if there's a donation and we display it there will always be that credit line thanking that um, donor for the artifact Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much for your time today. We're really happy to uh, to know more about this, and, and we hope that everyone will contribute from the 1950s to the 1970s, but only the good stuff. Only the yes. good stuff. Only, and speaking of good yeah. stuff, I'm putting you on the spot. Alexandra or Dan, what is your favorite National Day song? We've been having this discussion for the last 15 minutes. Off the top of your head, Dan first. What is your favorite National Day song? Uh I I I wow I, I can't remember what I'm so like a true Singaporean he can't remember them. <laughs> <laughs> I think you might not be alone, Dan. I think. Oh, uh, uh, Alexandra, save us. What is yours? <laughs> it's uh, it's hard to pick, but I think I have to agree. Was it with your wife? I like home too. That's my favorite. Yes, that's, okay, that's so common. Right. Right. So, so, yeah. So Dan, yeah. everything I am, we are Singapore. <laughs> the road ahead, our Singapore home. Yeah, the road ahead, real together. Good one. Yeah, the road ahead, real good one for me. Yeah. All right, there you go. Awesome. Thanks, hey, guys. Thanks to you both. Alexandra Tan, uh, manager of Founders Memorial at the National Heritage Board, and Dan Tio, public contributor, also historian and teacher, educator uh, to the Founders Memorial. Thanks for being with us on Money FM Saturday morning.